Hello, this is Gio. I'm at New York Comic Con with the lovely and infamous Tara Patrick. How you doing, Tara? Why am I infamous? Oh, you you used to be a bad little girl, weren't you? Yeah. So you know what's funny? The first uh, the first thing I get. Uh, first of all, I'm so happy to be in New York at New York Comic Con. It's my first uh, East Coast appearance in almost three years. So yay! But everyone always says you're so much taller in person and I think that might be because they saw me laying down for so many years maybe I don't know but I am tall I'm 5'9 so it's funny so what have you been up to well I wrote um, my first memoir Sinner Takes All and woo! and I have the follow-up to Sinner Takes All coming out in March of 2013 and I had a daughter who's seven months old so I took about a year and a half off and now I'm doing Comic-Con and I'm doing some other shows. I'm going to be at Exotica, New Jersey next month as well. So I get to play with my adult friends again, which is kind of nice. Awesome. I look forward to seeing you at Exotica. I'm always there. Oh, okay. Awesome. So we'll do this again. Yes, we should. <laughs> um, so I know you're hosting the Expos Awards in 2013. How does it feel to be doing that? Well, I'm hosting uh, the Expos Awards in January of uh, 2013. It's actually my second time. I hosted the first show as well, so I thought it was really nice that they asked me again. And it's on the anniversary, so that's really nice. Yeah. Uh, what could you tell me about the uh, Expendables Triple X, your cameo in it? Oh, well, my dear friend of uh, many years, Axel Braun, asked me to walk on and do the Arnold role uh, opposite uh, Stallone's role, which went to Kimberly Kane. So it was a lot of fun. I can never say no to Axel, but uh, I had to watch The Expendables. I'm a horrible movie watcher. And uh, he said, no, 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 it's, you're really Arnold. You come in, do three lines, and then you leave. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty cool. You, do, you, do you get to do an accent, or do you just play it straight? I just play it straight, but I haven't. I retired from doing adult movies in 2006. So it was my first time on a porn set, and I remember going, it's just like riding a penis now. So <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was cool. It was nice to see everybody. All right. What other projects do you have coming up? Well, I, um, I'm actually in stunt training. I've been doing, I just shot a music video with uh, a rap group. Well, they're more rock, but they're called Moonshine Bandits, and it was my first time ever doing stunts and not on wires, so my abs are still sore. Um, I'm making a few appearances. I'm also going to be at Ivan Kane's Royal Je Jelly Club at the Rebel Casino. Ivan's a good friend of mine. I love doing his burlesque club, so I will be there in April of 2013. I'm doing a tour of Australia and New Zealand in August and September, and I'm spending Christmas in Japan this year. So I'm traveling, and it's good. Busy, busy, busy. And I have a, I have a little girl now, so that's I don't sleep anymore. Aww, congrats. <laughs> congrats. You. What are you most proud that you've accomplished? Definitely my daughter. Definitely now that I'm an author, I love writing. But my entire career, I mean, I, I started in the industry in 1999, posing for Playboy. And I look back and I can honestly say when I look at the legacy of work I've done, I'm really happy. I've worked with amazing people, great companies. I have good friends and it's good. Awesome. What would you like to accomplish that you haven't still? You know what? There's only a few people that I would really love to work with. I would love to work with a photographer named Leslie Key. He uh, was born in Singapore and a uh, Japanese photographer. I would really love to work with him. I'd like to work with Quentin Tarantino. I'd I, I'm not, I have no desire to be an actress or do any type of acting, but if there was one role that I really think I was meant for, it's Faster Pussycat Kill Kill. I have to be, a, yeah, I, she, that's my role, and I think that Quentin should remake the movie, and I should be the lead, so... Well, Quentin, Quentin, if you're hearing this, this is a girl for Faster Pussycat Remake. Yeah, that's it. And then there's only a few countries I haven't been to that I'd like to travel to. I'd love to go to Egypt and Easter Island and uh, Antarctica. That's really it. Everywhere else I've been. Antarctica. That's interesting. Right? Yeah. I just want to go to the bottom of the world. I've been to the North Pole, so I'd like wow. to go to the South Pole. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. What does Tara like to do on her free time? Oh, wow. Um, it's probably boring. I like, I'm a really good cook. I'm half Thai, so I love to cook Thai food. Um, I travel. I just, I travel. That's why I'm spending Christmas in Japan this year, because I love Asia. It's my favorite continent, so I'm going to show uh, my family, uh, you know, when the cherry blossoms are blooming, and it's just, to me, there's so much of this great world to see, so I, I travel. It's probably boring to people, but I love museums and art and music and... I like seeing how different, how other people live. 
Uh, tell me one thing that would surprise people if they knew about you. I love gardening. I'm a really good gardener. I have a really gr great green thumb, and I'll tell you a funny story. My first trade show was the um, AVNs in 2000. Um, I was very new to the industry. I just started in 1999, and a man bought me a plant to sign, a plant, a potted plant. And I remember he came back five years later and I had signed the pot and it grew like this big. And he's like, I swear you made my plant grow. I made everything grow. But um, yeah, so I'm a good gardener. I know that surprises people. Uh, any final words for uh, my fans, readers? Yeah, I just want to say um, thank you. It's been wonderful seeing Gio and meeting you here at Com New York City Comic Con. And uh, just thank you to all my fans all these years. They've supported me and they keep supporting me as I go into new endeavors and do new things. So it's really awesome. Well, thank you, Tara. You've been a pleasure. You are a sweetheart in person. And I have to say, I've been a fan since for years and uh, meeting you is probably one of my dreams come true. And interviewing you is, you just made my day. Thank you. And uh, TaraPatrick.com. You can see everything on TaraPatrick.com. All right. Thank you.